Morning everybody, fishing the odds here. We made our way up river. We're fishing some uh, sort of coastal stuff here. We're going after some coho, primarily. There's a couple snuck around, but we're primarily doing coho fishing. Twitch and jigs, spinners, spoons even. There's some decent spoon water around here. Bobber and eggs, stuff like that. Got Kelly with me today. He already had a hit on the twitching jig. First light. So we're fishing such shallow water, I saw some wakes chasing my spinner too. Yep, hit that subscribe button guys, it's gonna be a good day. Also, go check out in the description below. I got my Amazon affiliate links. Everything we're using in the video today will be linked below. If you click that link, it's a small commission for the channel. I really appreciate it. You can even click the link and then go order a pair of shoes. It doesn't matter. As long as you click the link first and order through Amazon, small commission of the channel. And I got my clothing brand listed in the description below. Anyway. Hit that uh, subscribe button, guys. We're gonna have a good. We're gonna have a good day. It's pouring rain. I'll do what I can for filming. <laughs> Trying to get Kelly on a Coca-Chobie. Oh, some fish moving right there. Look at them. Oh, yeah. They're going down. Oh, look at them. Spooked them. Look at them all. Seven, eight of them. Beach hey, fish. Get up here. Okay. Kelly's first coho of the season, eh? Yeah, yeah it's been rough on the coho. Lots of Chinook this year. Yep. Even a summer steelhead. Come on, buddy. Woo! Got Kelly on the board. I'm stoked about that. All right, Kelly. Kelly got a nice little hen coho. We're going to let her spawn and do her thing, though, ain't we? Hatchery hen, yep. She's going back. It's a little more color than we're looking for. Yep. Get her back in the drink. For see you later. Look at my spinner. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See if we can get that buck to bite. But I'll snap out of it. I'll get some fish here soon. Having a rough morning, but we'll get into them. Look at 
that big buck guys on the maglet. That's an awesome fish. Woo! So sometimes the color of twitching jig really does matter. Uh, we've tried the all black, we've tried um, chartreuse and pink and chartreuse and black. We haven't dove into the purples or, or anything like that. Oh, even the nightmare, man. Look at that nightmare by, uh, by Yakima. It's got white, black, red, and some more white squid tentacles with a little bit of flash. I'm gonna try that one. If that don't work, we got some purples in here to go to. Look at that one. Chartreuse tentacles, a variation of purple and pink on that Yakima jig right there. So let's go with the nightmare and see if we can't get anything to go. It's one of my knots I like to tie is the uni knot. It literally takes like five seconds. Start the timer. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, and cinch. Knot's done. <laughs> Go ahead and cut my tag in, leave everything in my raft, make one cast and catch a fish. That's how we're gonna do it today, boys. Check this out. Check this out. Where was that roller at? <laughs> Where you at, boy? Come to Dada. Sometimes jig color is huge, though. Pop, pop, change your twitch. Pop, 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 pop. Pop. Big, big twitches. What do they want? They want it fast, they want it slow. It's hard to say, right? Alright, so the nightmare didn't work. Time to change color, go purple. No, I'm kidding. You don't gotta go that fast, guys. But, but, uh, it does help changing colors cycle through because some, sometimes they really don't want all black or there's a roller down there. So, stay tuned, guys. We'll get on some fish soon. Got one on the maglip and got one on a spinner for Kelly's fish, so. Stay tuned. Money? Mm hmm. Alrighty. Caught a couple fish, lost a fish. Got some super hot soup. You know how you know how we are in the fall, baby. Get some steaming hot. Whee! Nothing like a hot lunch on the river, huh, Kelly? My favorite. I already ate all my soup. Mm. Okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, a little hot. But I'll chill while Kelly fishes for a minute. And uh, hopefully we get in uh, some more biters for you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. Kelly's on one, ladies and gents. Here, I can net it and film. Here. I got it. I want to net it. Oh, you want to net it? I want to net it. Watch out for that net, though. Kelly, huh? Another nice red one. There we go. That's a beautiful hen, man. Nice coho. Let's give it a nice release. Yeah, let's get rid of this fish, huh? Bacon wrap, some Italian dressing. There you go. It's good, man. Taking a break. All right, everybody. So, just a little update here. We got three in the box. We have yet to make our our lunch. We got some hot dogs cooked up. We've already had hot soup on the river. 
Got the Coleman grill behind us. Um, I got another bite on a maglip. It did not stick. Kelly had another swing on a spinner. It did not stick. But like I said, three in the box, guys. We're just we're down in the tide water now. We got an incoming tide, and the current is kind of going away, but we're seeing rollers. Where to cast? That's a good question. There's kind of cast everywhere. <laughs> but uh, there's rollers around, man. We're gonna we're gonna get in some more fish. I've got a I've got a funny feeling. At some point today, we will find some more fish. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you during lunch or another fish. When you're when are you making lunch? When do I make lunch? In like an hour probably. Yeah. Where are you always going? Like an hour. Keep us going, Daryl. Huh? Just keep us going, huh? If you want to switch off, just let me know. Fish. He's all wrapped. He literally wrapped up bad. I got him right under the mouth. Ooh. He's not snagged because he went for it. See that? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Uh, well, he unwrapped himself. Nice hand. Come on, take some wine, buddy. I don't even care if I lose you. I could have landed you like seven times already. <laughs> oh, it's in the mouth. Good luck on that. He's barely hooked up. Peeing all over me, dude. Squirting oh, berries. Put it in the water. <laughs> We're gonna get her in there. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Proper release, buddy. How'd that fish make you feel? Can't believe she's about to spawn and she's squirting berries. Oh god. Chrome on the Twitch. Chrome. <sighs> that was a keeper. Time bright. Did you see it death rolling? Did you see it death rolling? Yeah. It was nice and bright. Uh, he was like head shaking. Uh, that was my keeper, dude. So we're nearing the end of our float. Uh, we're seeing rollers still. It's been it's been a tough day, man. Uh, for the amount of fish that are present, there's a lot that aren't biting. And uh, we're just kind of twitching our way down the river. They're rolling. I mean, like I said, casting on rollers is smart, but it's also not smart. <laughs> a lot of these rollers aren't biters, man. So, um, is what it is. We're putting in the work today. And uh, we, were, we were rewarded. We uh, got four fish today. And I lost one on the twitcher. Kelly lost one on the spinner. I mean, we had we had some good opportunity opportunity today, but uh, it'd be nice to land a couple more fish. Right now, I'm just twitching an all pink twitching jig, three eighths ounce. And Kelly's been running a uh, chartreuse and black twitching jig, trying to get these Yakima jigs to go, man. You can probably hear that fish roll in the background. So I'm gonna row us down just a little bit. Get us on some some fresher fresher fish. We've cast on these fish for a minute now. So I'm seeing rollers right there. Make our way down and get on. Back to the truck. 
gonna back her down. Probably have to use a rope, bring it up the hill, and uh, it's a good day. I'll see you down in the water. Probably gonna do a little bank fishing. Keep going. Keep going. More. Hold up. Here we go, guys. Got the boat up. Let's go. Maybe bank fish for a half hour or so, huh? Let's do it. Let's chase the light out of here, huh? Let's do it. Let's load us up. All right, guys. We had a really good time floating the river today. Uh, we launched on a hill, took out on a hill with a rope. That was pretty cool. Something different, that's for sure. Something different. You know, there wasn't a lot of pressure on this river for Saturday because, well, it's not accessible, you know, for, for most people. So, uh, came down here, made it happen. Got a fish on that. Yakima bait uh, maglet 3.5. Um, got one on my custom spinner as well. And you got some fish on spinner. When you talk about those, got a couple fish on spinner today. It was nice. I uh, have yet to get a twitching fish this year. Um, got oof, about four bites today. Landed two of them. The other ones didn't really put up a fight. They just kind of hit it and ran away. Uh, beautiful river. Floating it for the first time. Only boat on the river. Good place to be. Good place to be. A lot of new things learned for us both today. Um, I think we were four for eight or four for nine total. Um, you know what? We had some bad releases there. <laughs> oh man. We should probably go to fish handling school because you know. We uh, today was rough on the fish release. Today was rough on the fish release. I lost one in my hands. <laughs> one that was squirting eggs out. Damn. Fish was in the middle of pre and post spawn. Yeah. And uh, and he he lost a fish too. We got that in slow mo, man. His fish flop in and then slaps the water. But hey, they're jumping all over the place anyway. What what's it hurt? They're, they're jumping from our hands. <laughs> a lot of fish around today. Not a lot of biters. Still had a good day though. Still had a good day, guys. Anytime on the water is a good time. Yes, sir. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the links below, like I had mentioned earlier. And uh, tight lines. I'll see you guys on the river.